This is Patrick Thames, and I'm continuing the discussion of what we talked about last time. Last time we talked about major, uh, actually we talked about the 12-bar blues, and uh, it's a good entry level. Uh, I primarily only teach beginners. If you uh, are advanced and you stumble upon this video, it may help you, may not, may be something that you know. Uh, and, uh, but if you just want to practice with me, you can. So, uh, again, I want to say hi to everybody that's, that's been uh, watching um, my videos. And this particular video has to deal with the major scale. And I'm going to start on the third fret on the low E string. I could start, you know, on the F sharp, but I, I think a good starting point is the G. And we're going to learn how to play a major scale. We're only doing one octave. We're only doing eight notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're only doing eight notes. And now, what you do, now remember we've got four fingers that we're going to use in this. One, two, three, four, and we'll learn the next. So you start with your middle finger, you start with two on the third fret. So two on the third fret, one, oh sorry, two on the third fret. Now four is gonna play the two. So one, two, one, two, okay. One, two, now we're gonna go to the three with the first finger, which is gonna be one on the A string on the second fret. So this is what we have so far. One, two, three. All right. Now, we're going to play the next one, which is going to be four. It's going to be on the A string, third fret. So we got. Okay. Now we're going to play five with the pinky on the A string. See? So. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, try it again. One, two, three, four, five. And that means we only got three more three more notes to do. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now six is gonna be on the second fret on the D string. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. And we need to do a seven. Wait a minute, seven. Not a flat seven. We talked about that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that has the tendency, like I talked about last time, to pull up. So we start the seven, which is going to be on the fourth fret on the D string, which is third finger. And then we're going to go up with our pinky. All right, now here's the whole scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See if you can do that. Two, ready, play. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do it again. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now that we can go up, we gotta come back down. Eight, seven, six, five, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And we move that pattern up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm just moving up a half step or a fret every time. So you go all the way up to the neck as far as you can go. Now we did it starting on the G. By the way, if I was to learn where my notes are, this is a good way to learn. So I know third fret is a G. And you move up a half step or move up a fret, that's going to be a G sharp or A flat. So G, moving up G sharp or A flat. So you know G major, A flat or G sharp, A, you know A major. You know where B flat is or A sharp. 
know where B natural is. You know uh, where C is. You know where C sharp is. So you can know where you're at on the fingerboard. So I would do my scales like this. G. A flat. A. B flat. Okay, now that's only on the low E string. We do the same exercise uh, on the A string. Now that's a C. Because I know open A string, B flat, first fret, B natural, second fret, C is going to be the third fret. So we're going to do a C major scale. Same pattern. C sharp. practice with some kind of metronome or drum loop and practice all my skills. There is no excuse for you not to know your major skills. You're holding a guitar in your hand. So if you are a bass uh, player, these scales even work on guitar if you start with the low E string and the low A string. They work. I know you got your B string. If you're playing a six string guitar, you got your B string and then you got your high E string. Uh, well, really the B string, which kind of throws it off. But there's no excuse for us not knowing our major scales and not knowing the name of our notes. We know that the low E string, A, D, G. You have to know this. All right. This has been Patrick Timms, and I'm playing bass today. And we're talking about knowing uh, the major scales and how to figure out the major scales. Use it to figure out where the notes are on the fingerboard. Know where one is. Know where, you now if I was in the key of G, where is one is right there. And then three is right there. And where is five? Now, so if I had trouble figuring out, I could go one, two, three, four, five. All right, now I know where five is. So if I'm playing, and somebody said we're going to the five, back to one. Say we went to the three, back to one, five, and one. Now let's say we went to the seven. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. You see? So if they went and back to one. So as I'm saying, you can use the, just that knowledge to figure out chords and keys to songs just by using that major scale. All right. Uh, next time, I'm going to do the major scale two octaves. That's like... That's kind of, uh, I need to practice that, but you can you can play all the way up the neck to get it two octaves in. You know, the great bass players could play two and even three octaves. All right. Y'all have a nice day. I look forward to, look forward to these uh, teaching segments because uh, it makes me a better musician and it gives me inspiration to practice for. All right. Y'all have a good day. Goodbye.